What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of I Know Chris and today my friends we're out in Southeast Georgia and we're going to do some smoking some meats, some chicken and ribs. Before we get into that, how about that new intro? Kind of festive, Halloween season, October. The list of my new members that have joined, join button down here. If you're interested in that, you hit that join button find out all about it. It's not very much, but if you want to, that is where you'll get your name listed at the beginning of the video and at the end of the video. Those are my members. If you would, please click on their links below this video and go support their channel. Check out their channel, see if it's something you're interested in and support them. Um, they support me, and like I said, they join, and that's how they get their names at the beginning and at the end. And I thought it would be kind of cool to do a little Halloween theme. Hope y'all enjoyed that. You know, crazy, I know Chris. But we're going to get into what we're doing today. We are going to be smoking some meat on the pit barrel cooker. Y'all know it's my favorite cooker. We're going to be doing some ribs and we're going to be doing some quarter chickens or chicken quarters, I should say. We're going to be using some uh, Twisted Q season for ribs and chicken, two different ones. I'm going to bring the camera up close in a minute and y'all see me do it up and how we're going to hang it. We're hanging everything, even the chicken quarters. Some people got pit barrel cookers and think they can only use the rack. That is wrong. You can hang those chicken quarters. Chicken quarters are going to cook about an hour. Uh, we're going to bring it up to about 170 to 75 degrees to how I like my chicken. Uh, temperature internal in about an hour and two hours on the pit barrel cooker we're gonna take the ribs up about 180 that's where they're gonna be but let's get a little closer and let y'all take a look at this see how I hook up this chicken put them on the pit barrel cooker and get into this tasty tasty because you know it's gonna be stick around all right guys before we get into doing this chicken up and these ribs up and get them on the pit barrel cooker I'm gonna show you real quick what we're gonna be using today this is twisted Q this is sweet mesquite this is gonna be for the chicken today it is gonna be really good on that chicken got a feeling my friends and then we got Twisted Q Sweet Heat Rub that we're going to be going with on the ribs. I'm going to go heavy on both of these. It doesn't hurt, trust me. It's going to be very flavorful on that pit barrel cooker. Also going to be smoking with Applewood chips, my friend. This is Cowboy brand. You use any brand you want, but I love Applewood. But this is Cowboy brand I usually use when I smoke. Um, it's in chunks. I'm using chunks today. Some big old chunks like this. Now, a tip if you're using a pit barrel cooker, a lot of people want to wet their chips. You ain't got to do that. Before you fill your basket up with charcoal, put one or two of these and then put the charcoal on top. You get a longer smoke out of your uh, smoking and your cook time and then throw like one chunk on top before you put your meat on there trust me get a lot more smoke longer time no needing to wet anything up so i'm going to bring you all in closer you're not going to be looking at my face or me or my stomach where i'm going to put all these ribs <laughs> but you're going to be looking at me just dusting these uh with these seasonings and i also use mustard I, i've told y'all before i use mustard on my ribs and really going to look yellow it's just uh, a binder it also got vinegar in it y'all know that and mustard i believe with vinegar in it makes those ribs a little extra tender and I've already had the mustard on it for a little while so just kind of working its way into the meat and we're gonna be saucing it up today with sweet baby Ray original one of my favorite sauces um, it's gonna go on both chicken and the ribs so let me get this off the table this whip I'm gonna bring y'all in closer we're gonna dust this up I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna hook these uh, chicken cords up then we're gonna put it over in the pit barrel cooker and get it cooking y'all stay tuned okay guys I'm gonna get this uncovered real quick we'll go ahead and put the chicken we're gonna get the hooks of the chicken real quick Can't fall off there there's your whole chicken. I'm going to go ahead and dust them up. Like I said, we're not using sweet heat on that. We're using the Twisted Q Sweet Mesquite Chicken Rub on this, my friends. We're going to coat them kind of heavy. Kind of heavy. I like going heavy on it. It don't hurt. This is going to be off the chain, my friends. I'm going to let y'all take a little look there. A lot of people say, well, ain't you putting mustard on that? I have, and it doesn't hurt nothing either. It don't. I really wanted y'all to see this color of this chicken with this rub on here. Man, I can smell sweetness in that mesquite smells delicious too it's gonna be good my friends a lot of flavor here a lot of people are like oh my god it's going kind of heavy trust me it's not gonna hurt it it's not a very salty uh seasoning at all if that's what you're thinking it's not but man it has a very good sweet smoky taste and you got the apple wood we're going you can't go wrong so here we got it all done up let's hook it up so if you're wondering how to hook this and you got a pit barrel cooker you want to go into the thigh here right about there between the leg and the thigh you'll feel a little bone there pop it right through like so that's all you gotta do it'll hang and won't have to worry about it falling off in the, in the cooker trust me done it several times before never had it fall off never just find the bone in the back fill it with your thumb pop it through that's all you gotta do easy peasy my friends we're going to be smoking some meat today. Eating good in the neighborhood. Got to feed some people in the neighborhood today. Feed some people in the neighborhood today. I don't mind that at all. It's all good. So yeah, boom, just like that. Got it all done up. Yes, I'm going to hit it with some more. I knocked a little bit off, so yeah. I'm going to hit it some more. Hit it up. 
there you go. All right, got that done and out the way. Let's get these ribs down here. Yes, there's the mustard, my friends. Nothing wrong with them ribs. <laughs> like, why is this ribs yellow? <laughs> and these seasons and stuff I'm touching with this raw chicken hand, I know a lot of people are like, oh my God, touching this is all going in the trash. I'm sorry, it's just enough to do this really, and I'm done with it. Wipe some of this off my hands because I don't want the, the rubs mixing up. It don't hurt if they did, but I don't want them to. All right, twist the cue, sweet heat. It's gonna bring some heat, my friends, and sweetness. Yes, you can kind of see that this has got brown sugar in it. You see it kind of clumping up there. Mm -hmm, it's gonna be good, my friends. I'm gonna tell you another secret. It's called a rub. Don't rub it on your meat. You're gonna pat it, pat it. Don't rub it. Cause it's just gonna get off your meat. If you got that mustard on there, you're gonna be all right. Trust me. Yes, I'm going real heavy. Anybody seen me cook before knows I go heavy. Trust me. These ribs are gonna be delicious. And you will taste the pork. Fat's gonna render some of this off when it cooks. And another question I get asked all the time, did you remove the membrane? No, I did not. Oh no, curses. You didn't take the membrane off. Yada, yada, yada. You do your thing. I know all these big competition cookers and stuff do that. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, you cook your ribs however you want to. But I've cooked them both ways and I actually like the way the little flavor it gives. I'm gonna slice them in half anyway. Uh, I'm not really eating that piece right there, that, the, the membrane on the back of the bone anyway. So I don't care, I'm not doing that. You can pull it off real easy with a paper towel, there's a trick, you just grab it with a paper towel and rip it right off. Easy peasy. But I ain't doing it. I'm not doing that, my friends. I've cooked enough that I know it doesn't really, it, don't, it just don't alter the taste. Not enough for me to even bother with it. And I know somebody out there is gonna disagree and that's fine, everybody has an opinion. You cook your ribs the way you want to. I'm just showing you the way I do them on the pit barrel cooker. And it works every time, I ain't had no complaints yet. Y'all see my belly? It's growing. No rubbing. Pat, pat. All right, there we go. I'm gonna let that sit there just a second. Clean my hands up. May have a mess, Chris, all the table. That's all right, this is a disposable tablecloth, my friends. It's going in the trash. That's pretty much all it is to it, to getting these seasoned up. Like I said, sweet heat on the ribs, sweet mesquite on the chicken. Um, we're gonna hit it up with the sweet baby ray. Ribs two hours. So what uh, the cook time for Georgia, my elevation, I had to set the vent. There's only one vent on that pit barrel cooker. Two hours, perfect every time. And the chicken quarters, we're looking at about an hour, 170, 175 degrees, a lot of like mine. Some people say 165. Uh, I like mine a little bit more cooked better than that. Um, just the texture for me. But anyway, like I said, you can see this is already starting to get the moisture in the seasoning. That's why I say you ain't gotta rub it in. It's pulling it in, that, that moisture and that mustard, it's just pulling it in. That's all you gotta do, easy peasy. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera around. We're gonna show y'all the pit barrel cooker and I'm gonna show you how to hook them up in there. And then the next time y'all see this, I'll let y'all have a peak while it's cooking about halfway through. And the next time they'll be plated up. Yes. So y'all know what you gotta do, stay tuned. All right, guys, we're about to throw this chicken on there. Guys and girls, I always say guys. It's, plenty, it's probably just as many women to watch my channel than there is men. So I should say guys and girls, guys and ladies, everybody out there. We're going to hang the chicken on this side, my friends. Just like so. Now you can get whole chickens and put in here. You can do quarter chickens. You can do anything. You put all ribs on one side. This bit barrel cook is a full size. It comes, I think it came with eight hooks. Um, so I utilize them. And I also, I preach this all the time if you got a pit barrel cooker. I like to cut my rack of ribs in half because you ain't got to worry about that fire down there getting to the bottom of your ribs and scorching the bottom. One hook. One hook. 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 Of apple wood. Now you're saying, oh, well, it didn't go completely in there. I want it right there to the side somewhere. I don't want it exactly in the fire. It's going to cook and create smoke. Uh, you can drop it right in the fire if you want to, but I try to always kick it to the side and catch it so you just get some of it burning, create enough smoke. It'll, it'll smoke slower. If you throw it right in the fire, it's going to burn up real quick. But once I put the lid on, it's going to damper that sun, trust me. But I try to always get a big hunk and throw it to the side where you got the closest of the rim of the basket down there up against the drum. It'll catch a hunk, 
You can't do it with chips, but you can do it with hunk. And it'll smoke slow. Takes practice. I know y'all probably saying, he didn't do it on purpose, trust me. Cook quite a few ribs in this. Had a lot of practice. And this also comes with a little handy dandy little tool to take these ribs out. Because I won't better touch that hook later, I'll show y'all. It's a little uh, wood peg with a hook on it. You just hook these hooks and pull them out so you don't burn your hand. That's it, my friends. Hour, take the chicken out. Two hours, we'll get the ribs out. Uh, we're going to put the lid on it. There's nothing else to do. There's no temperature gauge on this or nothing. Your vents are right here where the, the rebar goes, hangs out, and there's a vent at the bottom. That is it. And you don't mess with none of that. Just let it cook. So we're done, my friends. Uh, next time you'll see this, I'll let y'all have a peek when it's about halfway done for both of them. And then it'll be on the plate, and we'll be doing the tasty tasty. All right, guys, I know y'all can't smell this, but man, out here it smells so good. That applewood smoking on that chicken and those ribs, that twisted Q seasoning. Whew, it smells so good. Let's take a little look and see how they're looking in the pit barrel cooker real quick. Look at that pit barrel doing its thing. Look at the applewood smoking up out of there. Woo! Let's take a little peek inside, yeah. Comes that applewood smoke. Let it clear out. We don't leave the lid off too long, my friends. This is only like about an hour in, my friends. We're about an hour in on this. Let's get a look at this chicken over here. Let's put this lid down. Y'all, look at that. Look in there, my friends. Told you. You ain't got to put that chicken on no rack, my friends. Hang that chicken in there. No rack needed. Woo! And those ribs, they get in there. They get in there, my friends. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Y'all can only smell that cooking up. Ooh, 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 smelling so good. Y'all need smell of vision on YouTube. All right, my friends. We're going to get this lid back on here. We're going to get this lid back on here. Next time y'all see this, it's going to be plated up. And we're ready to eat. Looking good. Oh, real quick, I want to show y'all something. Grab it real quick. Because I was talking about this while ago. A little tool that comes with it. This is the tool. A little handy dandy tool. Cause them hooks are hot. So I just reach in there with that hook. Grab that hook like that other. Look at that. Look at that chicken. Whoa. Ain't that looking good? Mm -mm 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 -mm, my friends. Looking too good. Slide it back in there. Easy peasy. That's all that's to it, my friends. That's all that's to it. And the other thing I've done so far is I brought some apple uh, vinegar out here. Apple cider vinegar. And I brushed on my ribs. I always do that with a little apple juice on about the first hour that's it let's get this lid on because i'm getting that wood chunk on fire and i don't want that we want smoke so when i catch up back with y'all ladies and gentlemen next we're gonna be plated up eating some ribs and chicken y'all stay tuned guys we're getting ready to take this all up i'm gonna try to take one more look in here it's almost all done ribs got about another 25 30 minutes on it chicken's almost where i want it i wanted to get it to 172 degrees somewhere around that uh area and that's where we're at let that smoke clear out. Woo, that apple would smoke. <laughs> Let y'all take a little look at this chicken out. It's licking, my friends. Y'all see that? Ooh, looky, looky. Yes, sir. Very juicy. Very juicy. Very juicy. Those ribs. Look at that. Can you see those ribs, my friends? From all that smoke. Ooh. Yes, we're about to plate these up. These ribs, I'm about to put the sauce on them and throw them back on here. Just for a few minutes, let the sauce set in, but we better pull this chicken off. Y'all stay tuned, we're almost done. All right guys, they got them on the plate. Look at that smoked chicken, Woo! And look at that rib. Got a nice little pink ring around it. I don't know how good y'all can see that. Mm -hmm. Trust me, it's there. So juicy, so juicy, so juicy. Got sweet baby ray sauce on there, my friends. Looking delicious. Let's take a bite. Torture y'all a little bit. Mmm. Caught right up in your face. Mmm. <laughs> when you bite it, it comes right off the bone. That's how I like it. You don't want it falling off the bone. Some people do. I want better to bite it, pull it off the bone. Remember what I said about the membrane? You ain't heard done. I know I got sauce on my face. Sweet baby ray sauce. Oh, God. Mmm. Mmm. My friends, can y'all see that juice in that? Mmm. I can almost bathe in that. It's so good. Can you bathe in that? And ribs? Barbecue sauce? Maybe you can. 
I don't know. I keep looking over there. I want to look at y'all. <laughs> that rib is off the chain. Twisted Q seasoning. Mm. Hey, baby. There's a chicken. Mm-hmm. Get a little tear him. I'm going to pull it apart, my friends. So pull it apart. Rip off a piece of that juicy chicken. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my God, it twisted cue. Mm, it's coming through. It is coming through, my friends. Let me tell you. Look at that. Juicy. Juicy. I'm still going to eat in front y'all. And if I drop it, it's okay. I got more in the house. Look at that. Mm. So hot. So freaking juicy. Mmm. Applewood smoke. It's off the chain, my friends. Twist the cue. I'm so hungry. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm eating like a dinosaur. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Coming in close on y'all. <laughs> that skin cooked up just perfect. 172, I think it was 172, 173. Mmm. Man, you'll see the smoke coming out. That's hot. But the flavor, that skin, I love the skin. Chicken. Ain't throwing that away. We don't throw nothing away here. <laughs> but everything is tasty, tasty. Mmm, 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 mmm. That's it. There you go. You got people that don't like pork. You can put chicken in the pit barrel cooker along with your pork ribs. And everybody's happy. You got chicken people. You got people like pork. Wash that down. We're taking a bite of this rib. So tender and juicy, my friends. Doesn't dry out in the pit barrel cooker. Bites right off the bone. Sweet baby ray sauce. Twisted Q. Mm. All right. I got some collard greens in the house cooked up. Some baked beans. It's gonna be really good with this too. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm gonna torture y'all. Go hang with me. So we're wrapping this up. Been another great cook, my friends. Appreciate each and every one of y'all stopping by today on my channel. Um, like I said, please support uh, my members that have joined here at the beginning of the uh, video and at the end. In the credits, more or less, I guess what you can call it. If you like joining, you hit the join button. If you don't, that's fine. Appreciate you just coming here watching my videos. Uh, if you join, it's great. If you don't join and you just come here and watch my videos, I really, really appreciate it. It really means a lot for everybody to come to watch my videos. It really does. People, a lot of people get caught up on the join thing. It's really nice to have people want to join and support you that way. But it's even super nice to have people just take their time to come watch my videos on my channel. Bugs. <laughs> that means a lot to me too. Please give me a thumbs up or thumbs down if you didn't like the content because you know your opinion counts. Leave a comment down below because I love reading all your comments. Until the next time my friends, there ain't much else we can do except y'all stay safe and keep tubing.